All right, welcome to the lesson on identifying the elements of a plot diagram. You may have seen this during the pretest, so let's go right into it. So there are five parts of the plot diagram. One, two, three, four, five, and it kind of looks like a mountain, as you can see, going up and then eventually coming back down. So the plot, what is that? The plot is the organized pattern or sequence of events that make up a story. Every plot is made up of a series of incidences or incidents that are related to one another. Basically, one thing will happen and another thing will happen because the other thing happened, right? Cause and effect. First portion that happens in the beginning is called the exposition. This is the beginning. This is where characters are introduced. We learn about the setting, the time and place of the story. And we also see the main conflict, the main problem. The conflict is the main problem. So we see a lot happening in the beginning of the story called the exposition. Exposition. Next, we move on to the rising action in that section where it's a little jaggedy. This begins to develop, or the, party, uh, the part of the story, excuse me, begins to develop the conflict. A building of interest or suspense occurs. No major, major uh, uh, situations are happening in the story just yet, but it's building up to it. Um, hence why it's called rising action. Peak of the Mountain is called the climax. This is a turning point of the story. Usually the main character that you've been following finally comes face to face with, with the conflict. The conflict could be them having a problem with uh, another person or maybe with themselves. Um, so character versus self. Maybe it's a, it's a supernatural uh, situation or it's technology. It could be a lot of things that they finally butt heads or they come together in the, in the climax. After the climax happens, we fall fall in the folly action. All loose ends of the plot are tied up. The conflict and the climax are taken care of. Feels like it's the end, but it, it is not just yet the end. And we're not there yet. We're almost there. That's what number five is. Resolution. The story comes to a reasonable ending. Not just an ending, reasonable. It has to make sense on why the story ended. So again, putting it all together, this will help you understand um, the parts of the plot diagram. Part one and two, exposition and rising action is in the beginning of the story. The climax is that middle portion of the story. Four and five, uh, the falling action, the resolution, that is the end of the story. And that's it.